Hey there everybody, my name is Kedemar, welcome back to another video of NHL 19 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue the series. Um, I don't know where I last left off, I think we are... Well, we were certainly starting the third season, but... I don't remember, so let's just see at the lineups, because it's been a while... That I played this game, boys. We got Ecker, of course. Uh, did we get, like... Okay, so we got Joe Valeno and Bertuzzi, so... Okay, so... We got a couple of prospects. I think my lineups are already made for this. Yes, they're already prepared and everything. We got Ronek and Sulak. Okay. We also got in the AHL Pumpol, Omstrom. We don't really have anybody that's a prospect in itself. Actually, we do. Do I have anybody else? Yeah, okay. So we have these two defensemen right here, which are elites. And we've got this guy right here. So I'm playing all my low elites. That's good. I just want to make sure, boys, that uh, I did everything first. We got the scouting, which I don't know if I already did the scouting. I probably did, yeah. Yeah, I'm a good guy, boys. I already make sure every time that I do the, the stuff before, before and so. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess do this. Let's go ahead and do this, boys. We got... We gotta start this uh, preseason off, so we're just gonna simulate the preseason first. Just because the preseason doesn't matter too much, it's gonna be a little indicative of how the our actual season is gonna be. But aside from that, not really anything important. We're gonna go all the way up to the uh, game against our very first game against uh, Toronto. So let's go. We got two wins already in the preseason, so if that's a good indicative, it's a good indicative in itself, boys. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be like that for our season. I hope we're going to do well for our season. We've got a couple of prospects coming in, a couple of prospects as well for the AHL coming in. Uh, very ready to basically play in this stuff. Well, not really ready, but we're playing them anyways, just so they can grow a little bit faster, boys. So... Let's just hope. Let's just hope that uh, we're going to be there this year. We're actually going to make the playoffs or anything. I think we made the playoffs last year. If I'm not mistaken. But we uh, got eliminated, of course. Unfortunately. I don't remember who won the cup. We can probably see it uh, if we go look for it. So, we ended up with a good track record. I think we ended up with uh, like a record of 4-2 and two or something like that. So, that's... An actual pretty decent record for uh, right before the season itself. What I'm going to do, boys, I'm just, before starting the season, always do that. We're going to go back to the scouts. And uh, I'll edit the scouts just to make sure everybody uh, does their job and everything. So everybody seems good so far. I'm waiting to see if there's anybody that three. Okay. So the only one right now that I need to equip is this one. So let's just do it. It's not going to be for too long because, as you can see, I've only got four players to scout. So, this is going to be quite simple to do. Alrighty then. Let's just go ahead and do this simulation already, boys. I don't want to waste any time. I really want to f uh, do the entire season this uh, video, boys. Let's try to do at least. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. Alright, so all the way up to the Winnipeg game. The Winnipeg Jets game. Uh, we're going to stop there, boys. It's going to be the 10th game right there. So we lose our first game against Toronto 4-2, to which is not good. Hopefully we can bounce back up with the second game against uh, Los Angeles. And we do. We win 2-0. So far we only um, scored two goals per game. I'm hoping that we're going to score a little bit more than that. There we go. There's four goals. So 4-2 to two win for us against Montreal. So that's 2-1 and one now as a, a record. We're doing good. Uh, Grand Rapids are not doing so well. I was kind of hoping that the Grand, Grand Rapids were doing alright. We're going to do alright. In our franchise medium goaltender, boys, in the AHL that we just got is uh, injured. So that's not good. That's not going to help out his growth, boys. It's not going to help out his growth at all if he injures himself. There we go. There's a couple of wins in a row now. That's four uh, four game winning streak. You you want to start. You always want to start strong in October. 
because this is a month where give yourself a chance to make a playoffs or you don't make your the playoffs because of it. So we're giving ourselves a chance here early on. We're five and two, so that's really good. Now we do lose two games in in a row in regulation too, so that's not good. We haven't lost in overtime yet. Yeah, there's three losses in a row. Why do I have to lose? <laughs> like, why does it need to be a jinx every time I say I were starting to win or something? There's the game against uh, N New Jersey. We end up losing against New Jersey as well, boys. So, we started that strong with five wins in a row. We lost the first game. We won five in a row afterwards. And we won, like... We lost five, four in a row in regulation afterwards. So I don't know what happened there. Don't know what the hell happened. It's a 50-50 uh, rend, 50-50 uh, score after the first 10 games of our team. This is not good, boys. It's not enough. We need to be, be, do better. Ecker is playing well. Ecker is playing well, but... God damn, we're supposed to be a champion team at this point. It says it. And we're supposed to be playing way better than this. Come on now. That's not acceptable at all, boys. The fact that we're playing like this. So our first lineup is playing well. Second lineup as well. Fourth. Like, all the lineups are doing fine. Is it the defense? Uh, it's the defense. Okay. It's defense-wise, boys. The first pair, which is the most important one, is having a tough time. Which I can understand, I guess. Defensive defenseman or two-way. There's a thing. Shara is a two-way. And I don't know, boys. Chiller Whiskey, I need him to grow. So I need to, to stay here. Stay here. I can't move up any of them. I can only move up the Kaiser or Shara. So I am going to just do that, I guess. Maybe. I don't want to move up anybody. We... We did get five wins in a row. Maybe we can bounce back up again. Maybe it was just a mile error, boys. I don't know. Let's just... Uh, I'm going to look at the scouting. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Let's start the uh, third, uh, second month of simulation. Well, not the second month, but the second uh, st uh, start of the simulation. So, I got to count really quick. Two, four, uh, six, eight, and ten. So... Uh, nope, not there. We go all the way up to the Tampa Bay Lightning's game, boys. Let's see if we can win the 10 other games or win the sequence, uh, basically. I really need to... We really need to start winning now. Uh, the f let's prove that the four win, uh, four losses were just a mistake. So did we uh, win or did we lose right there? Mal uh, Malachi Prost is back, so let me get him back. He's back in the lineup, boys. So Pitt... He's got to stay. It's Brust. I'm picking, making them here. Putting him here. There we go. Uh, did we win or how's it going right here? Okay, so this is the same game right here. Okay, so we... Oh, no, we lost the, f the first game of the sequence. We lost it in regulation too. So that was like five losses in a row. And finally, we won. We won a goddamn game after all of that. And we lose again. Six to nothing against the Coyotes, boys. What is going on here? That's unacceptable right now. We gotta win, boys. We gotta win more than we, we, we lose. That's just unacceptable. I feel like this is gonna be the type of season. And if that's the case, that's not good enough. I'm gonna have to start cheating to make my goddamn uh, team win or something. Like, come on now. I need to my team to win. If I if I have to start having a, a trading for Crosby's and Ovechkin's just to make my team win and have a good decent series boys i'm gonna do it because that's just ridiculous that ea is doing this to me right now i'm having a decent team there we go three wins in a row now four four out of five so that's what i want to see like i don't want to see any bullshit right now boys I, i'm not here for that come on we gotta win at least one of these two last games right here to make it uh to make it decent. To make it a, a decent. There we go. We win against. Uh, that's four wins in a row now. We got to continue man. We got to continue on a good streak. We got to do this. I know we got it. There we go. Six wins. No. Five wins in a row. There's another five winnings. Uh, five game winning streak. Boys. That's what I want to see. 
only got I think three losses uh, this time around yeah three losses and one of them was in overtime or oh shootout so that's that's a good uh, thing that's what I wanted to see right here boys that's kind of production I want to see out of my team now we're back on track we're doing much better boys Acres doing very well uh, 21 points in 20 games doing very well boys and I think that's about it so that was a good month a good sequence we're not gonna change the lineups or anything I don't need to anyways so let's just look at the scouting again I need to make sure that the scouts are good so let me check uh, he's good okay so this guy obviously I have to do it yeah there we go okay so I gotta do all of them it's a lot of prospects I gotta take care of right here boys telling you right now Oof. a lot of prospects in the uh, W uh, QHL I think that's it uh, that's it right here no it's the OHL even yeah OHL has a lot of prospect this year it's gonna be rough to scale all of them all right I'm ready for the third sequence uh, third sequence boys of simulation Let's see if we get uh, we can get another good one because we had a an average one in, at first, a good one at uh, the second. We need to get another good one to get ourselves started back back at it. I really want to get a good year this year. Uh, I'm, I'm telling you boys, the roster we've got, we got a much better roster than the two previous years. Even though we got a couple of young prospects and everything in, we still got a much better process, uh, uh, like much better, much better chance of making the playoffs than the other years. So we gotta make it with there. We gotta have a decent year. We gotta have a good year, and be able to go f a little bit far. You know, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna us to struggle or anything. Luke Glendening is injured. We're gonna have to assistant coach replace him. With uh, I don't know who's the our death forward or anything or now we lose like after our six wins in a row basically we end up losing three times in a row in regulation this is going to be our story boys we're losing streaks after winning streaks and um this is not good we can't just have winning streaks but then having losing streaks like this like look at this this is like what far uh, four losses in a row now this is unacceptable i don't want to see that I don't know why we're losing so much, boys. Especially with the team we have. We have a goddamn... Okay, Nilsson Yala here. We have a, a goddamn, like... Where, where is he? What is this? Okay, there we go. They're glendening. No, 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 no. They're pressing the wrong thing, boys. Alright, so glendening is back. There we go. Putting him back there. So, yeah, especially since we have a Gretzky on our team, basically... It's unacceptable for us to be doing like losing so much. It's it's not it's not normal that we are having problems scoring or anything. Like we got to make we got to make uh, get some wins or any or something. We're still above average because uh, because of our good uh, record in last in the last sequence. Now Pimple's injured too. God damn it. Everybody gets injured in the AHL. NHL is doing fine so far, but AHL is like everybody's injured. Sari Jarvi, who is he exactly? What is he? He's like uh, a defenseman. Okay, let's get him back, boys, for Finn uh, instead of Matt Finn. God damn, everybody gets injured for some reason. We're good here. Well, it looks like we're good. So we end up losing the last game too. So that makes a, a record of a 3 and 7. Oh my god, that's a horrible record. What the hell? We got a average, a good, and a bad record. What the fuck is going on, boys? I'm trying to have a good, decent year. And my team goes and have 3 wins and 7 losses in 10 games. What, what the fuck's going on here? What am I supposed to do to make this team good, boys? You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me because I have no idea how EA works. I really don't have any ideas, boys. Basically making the best possible choices here and it's not working. It's just not working. I don't know what's going on. Like this team is... 
Look at this. They're in the pluses. What's going on now? Okay, the third line. Third line is actually horrible right now. So the third line is not doing well. What about these guys? Fourth line and third line. We need to change uh, switch things up right here. But here's the thing. He's a two-way forward. He's a sniper. Does he do passes? He kind of does both. Uh, Veleno's more of a passer. Maybe I can switch Veleno up, boys. Maybe I have to switch him up. I don't know. We're going to try this out. We're going to try Veleno out. Alright. We got Aldocator, which is a power forward right here. Uh, tops. Uh, let's go. Let's see what we got here. We got um, a passer. So we need a scorer, actually. Veleno, we don't need him right there. He's got to stay where he is then. Well, who's this guy? He's a two-way forward. Erasmussen is a sniper, so... The one who has better chances of scoring would be Rasmussen, boys. I'm telling you. So, he's a center too, so let's just put him there, I guess. Let's put him in his position. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I wanted to play Rasmussen in the fourth line just so he can grow better but uh, they won't let me do that because apparently they're doing horrible right now and Shara is doing kind of fine it went back okay Cholo Whiskey is not doing good at all yeah Cholo Whiskey is really not doing good god damn it man am I alone I really don't know what to do anymore boys at this point I really don't know what to do feel like these pairs don't go well together but I gotta keep them the way it is <laughs> I can't switch things up boys like that oh I, I gotta keep that there because he got injured or something isn't that it yeah he got injured okay that's normal okay let's see what we got anybody that's ready no doesn't look like it so we're good so far I hate that so much boys the fact that we're struggling Struggling like hell. I don't know what's going on. Do I really need to make changes or trades? Make my team better. We're gonna know we're gonna go another sequence. If we go into another sequ or another bad sequence, I'm gonna go on a full out trade trade uh, system, boys. I'm gonna trade everybody. I'm telling you, I'm gonna trade everyone for better players. Uh, I don't care anymore. I want my team to win. If they don't start winning right now, or are having a decent like performance, I'm gonna kill them and trade all of them. Because this is just unacceptable. They can't just arrive to me like this and not perform like this they should be. So, just give me a minute while I do the scouts. Let's start our fourth sequence, boys. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So all the way up to the St. Louis Blues game uh, the f in the 5th of November, of January. So let's go all the way up to the le le next year. Now I put up, let's see if, uh, what, if the line changes, the minor line changes are going to work. or going to do anything different boys. A win and a loss. So, so far it's basically the same thing. Erasmus is, uh, is in the third line instead of the fourth and Glendening. It's basically a, a switch up between Glendening and Rasmussen. Let's see if it's going to work. Uh, I really doubt it, boys. I doubt it's going to do anything different. So far, it did do a little bit of different. different I'm not going to lie because we got three. Uh, well, um, three out of five uh, games. We won three out of five games. And there's a, a, lo a loss by in shootout. So that's a point for us. Pune pulls back in the AHL. Let's get him back, boys. There we go. No, let's go. All are pressing the same thing. It's so slow that sometimes it doesn't want to do what I want him what I'm pressing. So we got another win right there. That's what I want to see. We want to back us back up. I think I want to jinx us. I'm not even gonna say anything at this point because there are the, there's a loss right there, anyways. Peterson is injured. God damn it, everybody gets injured in the AHL. How do they want to get Things start in the AHL if they just keep getting injured all the time. It's just not going to happen. Okay, there's two losses in regulation in a row now. Are we going to have another one of these uh, breakouts now? I don't want that to happen. 
Petrosen is one of our uh, elites too, so Finn, you're all here. Petrosen needs to play. He's an offensive defenseman. Hopefully he does. Is he doing okay? He's not doing okay. Both of them are not playing well together. Kind of figured that, boys, but I can't really do anything about that. Sorry, Jarvie has actually moved up a little bit in potential in, in uh, overall, so that's good for him. Yeah, so far we got like what? Uh, fuck off with that trade. We've got like uh, a couple of wins. We have four wins and three losses. Now, four losses now. That's three losses in regulation in a row, too. And another loss. So, four losses in a row, but at least that's an overtime loss. But it's too much, too many losses, boys. I'm telling you, if we got a bad record, if I'm looking at get a bad record, I'm trading everybody. It's as simple as that. All right, it's a bad record. I'm trading everybody, boys. Official making trades right now. We're changing this team up. I don't care anymore about who's a prospect, who's who. I'm keeping my elites. Uh, that's the only players I'm keeping. All the top sixes, the top nines, whether they have potential to grow or not, I'm trading them. I want a better team. I want a team that actually produces, actually makes points on the boards. And it's going to help us or help our team because I need to win. I'm going to make the playoffs this year. This is not happening. He is not going to screw me, boys. So let me choose, choose who I'm going to basically trade and um, get back to you, boys. Okay, boys. I found uh, a good, decent trade to do. This is so far, I think, the one of the, probably the first and last trade for now. Only trade. I'm going to trade Bertuzzi because he's goddamn awful. As you can see, well, he's not awful. He's awful in some stats. He's got minus six. He's not having a great year at all. And he's in the plus, like, uh, takeaways wise. Look at this. He gives the puck way more than he does. Uh, he gives, uh, takes it. So he is not good at all. He does not produce for us. He's even a tween. He's a tweener. And he's not anything special. I, I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna try to gain Adam Ernie, which is a power forward in exchange. He's actually playing well, plus minus wise, and has way more takeaways than giveaways. So this is exactly the kind of pray, the type of trade we need for the fourth line, especially. So the first line, fourth line, really was struggling. So I'm gonna have to uh, give them something in exchange, something better. I could probably give them just like a seventh round pick. There we go. And that should go to... No, that's not enough. Really now. Sixth round pick? Come on now, don't be... Uh, there we go. Sixth round pick and Bertuzzi in exchange for Adam Ernie, boys. A low top six. Uh, I think Bertuzzi was a medium top nine. So it's kind of the same... It's kind of the same thing, basically. It's in the same range. So they've got the same potential. Uh, Adam Ernie, there he is right here, boys. Low top six. He can still grow during the season. I don't know if it's going to be the case or not. Let's put him on the fourth line. So for offensive wise, this is the only guy we're going to trade in the offense. I don't know if we're going to trade anybody else. Uh, maybe in the defense wise. This might help out Veleno, which we've got the score in Glendening and Veleno. I want to keep them because Glendening does have a little bit more takeaways than giveaways. Uh, giveaways than takeaways, but... And he's minus 8, but I, I feel like he could produce, and he's not a tweener. He's not a tweener, he does... He produces, like he has a special ability. He's a scorer, so... It's the tweeners I'm looking at. I'm looking at the tweeners, the one who... The ones who are not gonna do well. Now, Chill Whiskey is minus 13, boys. So he's really not doing well. He gives the puck way more than uh, takes it, actually. And it's a two way. He's not a tweener, though. So I don't know, boys. I don't know how to feel about him. He had a decent year last year. Well, it was in the AHL, actually. So I can't really say anything. Yeah, actually, we might we might want to trade him, boys. Even though he's a medium top four, we might want to trade him for better defenseman. It's either him, because these guys are doing well, and these guys as well. So it's either him or the Kaiser. So which one, of, between the Kaiser and him, which one is the worst? I think the Kaiser is the defensive defenseman. So the Kaiser, yeah, the Kaiser is awful. 
it's, it's He's as they're both playing really bad. They're both giving the puck as much as each other. The Kaiser is only a minus two though. Uh, but as a defensive defenseman, giving the puck fifty three times and only get, take a, take it taking it twenty six times is uh not too good, boys. That's not too good. I kind of have a a strong feeling about Chili Whiskey. He's got a future ahead of him. Can probably give him a chance a little bit more. We're gonna try to get rid of the Kaiser, boys. We're gonna try to get rid of the Kaiser. Uh, let's see if I can do that. Okay, let's see if we can do that trade, boys. The Kaiser in exchange for Strollman. Uh, Strollman, much better player right now. Uh, he's a top four as well. He's a uh, plus four. He doesn't give the puck too much, as you can see right here. Uh, yeah, he doesn't give the puck too much, so that's good. And he's actually playing pretty well. He's got some decent stats. Uh, 85, 89 looks like a, a really decent player. We got an 83, 88 right here. So the Kaiser was all right, but we got a better choice in uh, Strowman right here. I'm going to try to give them a fifth round pick maybe. Let's change for that. They don't want to. They want. They don't want a fifth round pick, boys. I don't want to give them the fourth round. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to give them instead uh, maybe a goaltender. We've got so many goaltenders right here. So a f medium franchise, uh, may medium uh, French starter uh, should be good enough for them, boys. It should be uh, good enough. Uh, we don't need any of those. Okay, maybe that's not enough. That's not enough. So I am going to try to add in the draft pick as well with that. So the fifth round as well with that. I want to make that trade happen. Come on now, don't be tough, don't be that guy. They're, they're, they're kind of shy boys, they're, they don't want to make any trades. Don't know why right now. Top 9, so they're not going to want any of these. They're going to want some top 6s and stuff. I'm not going to give them that. Maybe the top 9 right here. Shh. Come on now, that's just ridiculous. Strowman is not worth that boys, he, he's not worth that much, so you know what? Forget about Strollman. We're gonna go see somewhere else. All right, boys. So I got maybe the trade that's gonna work right here. It's gonna work for uh, for sure. I don't know if it's gonna work with the Sif in the fifth round uh, as well added to it. But we're gonna have Brendan Ben Auten in exchange. Top four is actually a role. His role is a top six right now, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna play him in the top four, boys. Top four position. He's actually playing really well. 15 minutes already. Uh, it doesn't give the puck a lot. He has some pretty decent stats in the senses and in defense, which is what we got to look for in the uh, defenseman. So let's see if we can get that. Yes, it's accepted. So we got a fifth and a, a sixth round pick for that as well. There's our uh, team. Normally, our team not right now is upgraded, boys. It's better. It should be better. It should play better because, it, like overall wise, not, they're not upgraded. They're even downgraded. But they will play better. I guarantee you that, boys. And um, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So Ben Alton, we're gonna play him with Chill Whiskey. Hopefully, you're gonna elevate uh, elevate Chill Whiskey's plays because Chill Whiskey is really struggling with the minus thirteen. He's not gonna grow at a minus thirteen, boys. That's gonna it's going to even uh, hurt him even more than it should uh, help him. So let's just go ahead and finally do the simulation. So five sequence, I think the fifth sequence, the so two, four, six, eight and ten. We're going to go all the way up to the Philadelphia Flyers game. Let's see if our new trades our two new players and our new strategies. I come not. I came up with a couple of new strategies, boys. I were playing a little bit more defensive, and uh, being a little bit more careful on the offense as well to not make so uh, to not make as many uh, like giveaways and stuff. So we're gonna try to prevent the giveaways. And you can see, uh, five game like four to five, uh, four to five uh, scoring. Four to five goals per game right now, so that's really good, boys. We we start off the sequence with four games in a row, four wins in a row, five wins in a row now. 
That's what I want to see, boys. Six wins in a row. See? You got to make the trade. Sometimes you just got to make changes. Sometimes you just... You see that your team's not doing well. I didn't... That's the thing. I was afraid... They, they want to give us back Nyquist. Uh, I'm not going to give him uh, get him back. That's that's we got to forget about that game against Pittsburgh. 7-1 to one loss. That's okay. We got to just forget about it completely. We got six uh, wins in a row now. Um, sometimes you just got to get past your fears. I, I was afraid to trade one of our prospects in Bertuzzi. But I saw that he was playing uh, really not playing well. Like he was playing really bad on our team boys. A tweener as well who basically does both he doesn't he doesn't score he doesn't do passes he's gonna do both and tweeners are not that good in the team they're not good for a team boys because you never know what they're gonna give you exactly and they're not power forwards if they're not power forwards or grinders it's not worth keeping them so that's really a good thing for us we only got two losses so far we'll see if it's gonna be the same yeah okay so we ended up with three losses uh, overall. Did I make the mistake or something? No, I didn't make any mistakes. So we ended up with a record of seven and three after uh, after this famous trade, boys. These two trades. This is what I call a great trade, boys. This is getting uh, back us, getting us back into the uh, the race for the playoffs. You can see fifty five points. We're in the race right now for the wild card. We are... I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the Bruins. They might, they might start winning a couple of games, boys. But we can hope. We can hope. So 48 uh, points. Right now, our best player is Panarin. Now, we're in the 50 uh, games played so far. Let's see if any our play of, our, of our players basically grew... To where towards where they need to place uh, a better like position and stuff. Ecker, everybody seems fine right here. Uh, Eberly, of course, is doing fine. So you can see these two lineups are doing fine. They're doing well together. Uh, now this one is not doing too well, so it hasn't upgraded as well. Uh, Rasmussen was already at 80 when I started trading people, so he already grew before that. I don't know if that's uh, that went better or anything we're not gonna do any changes because uh, unless we need to because of growth we're not gonna make any changes because we are starting to win boys so not making any trades uh, uh, any changes uh, Adam Ernie is doing fine all right so he's a power forward so we don't need to worry about that passer with the score see this is gonna help out our fourth line we got a power forward to help out the passer the assist man and the, power, the the score is going to help them out, boys, in the long term. And over here, let's see if it helped out. It helped out Cholo Whiskey. It's helping out Ben time, boys, to have someone like Ben Otten, who is a, a plus 13. He's really great player for us, boys. Really great player for us. Yeah, it's helping us big time, boys. So that that's really good for us. Um, goalie is wise now. Uh, Brobovsky is not playing well. He's actually playing bad. He's not. He's having a bad year as well. So that's not helping our team either. The Brobovsky is not doing the job. So we need to uh, keep an eye on that. Pross is now 65. He only grew by like a couple. Not too much. Kate Pitt grew a little bit as well. Um, I was hoping that he, he would grow a little bit more uh, our medium franchise or, or big prospect basically let's see if we got anybody that grew doesn't look like it well they, they did grow but not that much we got anybody here doesn't look like actually we yes Peterson is now 50 overall so he did grow quite a lot and uh, Lemper, Lempman also grew quite a lot as well it's a 60 overall now okay we don't have anybody ready to play in the NHL, boys. So, we're good. Let me do the scouts and I'll see you for the uh, continuation of the simulation. Time to go all the way up to the Anaheim Ducks game in the 23, uh, 23rd February, boys. Uh, Zairi Jarvi, which is basically the second time he's, he got injured, boys. Gotta get him, get him back. Zairi Jarvi is almost ready for the NHL actually boys but uh, 
I don't know if he's gonna be ready in time. So if he's ready when, uh, only when the we are past the de trade deadline, that's too bad for him, I guess. He's a death forward, low top four, but it's too bad for him. We got another win right here, so let's see if we can get another decent sequence. We really need to start uh, at this point of the season. We need to just basically have good sequences. Uh, to hope to get to stay in the uh, the race because we're racing big time for the playoffs. We're in the race. We need to win these races, but this race basically, boys. So we uh, we really need to get up, score a couple goals, really like do big time uh, plays and stuff, and really play defensive, really play well. We got two wins. Uh, that's three out of five games uh, won right there. And that's basically a 3-1-1 one one record as of yet for five games. That's really good for us. Um, so really good, boys. I hope we're going to do... I hope we're going to make it to the playoffs. I'm not sure yet. I can't say anything because obviously we it's going to be a, a rough year for, for us, boys. Okay, so this guy got injured, but he's, he's good after all. So we don't need to look at that. It's a minor injury. Uh, two losses in regulation in a row. We don't want to see these. That's like, you see, we got like 24 losses in regulation. That's like way too much. That's way too much. That's a lot of points wasted right here in a season. And a lot of some points that we could have had in overtime that we're not able to go into overtime. When we lose, we don't go to overtime or shootout. Basically, we just plainly lose, and that's not good. We, we lose points because of that, valuable points. So, we end up losing the last game. I think it's going to be a tweener sequence, boys. Kind of in between a 50-50. We've got 30, for, uh, 31 uh, wins so far, but I don't know. 5-4-1, four, five, five, four and one. yeah, it's a 50-50 record. 50-50 record. Panarin is good, so it's a it's a decent record. I was hoping to have good records, because we can't have decent records, boys. Uh, we have to go, we don't have a choice but to have good record just because of the fact we're in the wild card position right now. We uh, we're in the race, 66 points. We're actually the last team in the wild card. We need to get to start winning because you know the. Damn well, the Metropolitan Division is going to start producing like crazy. And we're in a division which is crazy as, in itself as well. You see 89, 86 points. We have a chance, but we got to make that chance count, boys. We, ch we can't just like stop playing or anything. Let me uh, do my stuff, boys. Look at if we got anybody that's ready. Anybody that's really ready? No, doesn't look like it. So nobody ready for the NHL. Even grew a little bit more. Peterson is actually growing quite a lot, boys. And anybody else? Atcher hasn't grown at all. I think he hasn't grown at all, boys, during the season. Probably a little bit. Probably lying on that, but I don't I feel like he that hasn't grown, boys. That's not good for us if he doesn't grow. Oh my god. Okay, so. I feel like we're doing fine right here. I can't really make any trades at this point. Uh, fourth line is having a little bit of a tough time right here. But I can't really make anything happen. Like, at this point, yeah, there's nothing I can do at this point. Uh, I gotta keep it the way it is. Uh, basically, and hope for the best, really. Hope for the best, boys. There's nothing really I can do about uh, any of that. Uh, def defense wise, Cholo Whiskey is really going down, so the really good uh, is getting back up with the uh, the stats. That's really good for him. But, but having Ben Hutton with him, playing with him is really helping out big time. Okay, then we're, we're good on uh, this wise. Why is like this? We're not going to make any trades, we're going to keep it as it is. If we make the playoffs, we make the playoffs. If we don't make it, that's really a shameful thing, boys. We we struggle so much during that that's famous three losses and seven uh, three wins in seven like that infamous three and seven record during the third uh, second or third simulation boys was really bad for us 
that probably will be what killed us if we don't make the playoffs. We gotta go all the way up to the Colorado Avalanche game, not the one you're seeing right now, another one instead. Uh, Philip Ronek is actually injured, that's not good. We're gonna have to replace him for uh, instead the defenseman, dev defenseman that we got. I don't know if it's gonna help us or hurt us. Hope it doesn't hurt us. We don't need, uh, we don't need uh, right now to have uh, injured players right now. We don't need that. Carrick is injured. The yeah, AHL had all year, uh, all year long had basically a bunch of injuries. Don't know if we won. Uh, I think we won the other game too. So that's two lo uh, one a win for us, boys. Two wins. Uh, yeah, the replacements is Ickets, which is actually playing fine, but uh, I need to get uh, Ronek back back in. There we go. Yeah, I need to get Ronek back and he's a much better player wise. Okay, Carrick is back. So many injuries, boys. Unbelievable. Carrick is a centerman, so Carrick, you were playing here, I guess. Let's get you back. Nope. Get you back right here. There we go. This is going to be a long video, boys, but I don't have a choice. Franchises mo uh, the franchise mode videos are going to be always a little bit longer than the other ones. Just because I want to make I want to make uh, one season per video, basically. So I think we're good. Actually, it was this one. Uh, am I stopping right here, really? Is that the 10 games already? It's not the 10 games, so no, that's not it. I still have two games remaining. I didn't count properly, properly, boys. We gotta continue. All the way to the Philadelphia Flyers games that we kinda continue. Uh, Ma oh, Michael Rasmussen is injured. That's not good. I think he's injured for the rest of the... Well, for a good month of the last period right here. So, 38 wins. We're gonna get to the 40 mark. So, that means that we have a good chance of making the playoffs. As you can see, boys, 81. That's what I told you last time. You gotta get at minimum 50, 40 wins in order to make the playoffs. If you don't make uh, 40 wins, you the chances of you making the playoffs are really, uh, really bad. So we actually have a good, decent chance of making the playoffs right here. We gotta continue to play good. Uh, Panarin has the 30 goals, score, uh, 30 goals now in this season. He's got 76 points. That should be playing pretty well. It's starting to move up. He should have done that way earlier, but that's okay. Uh, better than uh, better than uh, than any time now. Seven two and one, really good record, boys. Uh, let us hope, boys, that for the remaining season we're gonna be good enough to make it to the playoffs. We don't want that. We don't want to start a sequence with two losses in regulation in a row. That's not good. All right, only one win, four losses. This is the last period. This is the the last games right here of the season. This is gonna make. Us or break us. And our best defenseman, goddamn, gets injured. Are you serious? There's like 10 games left and he gets injured and we start winning. What is. No way! Both Petriangelo and Shara, our two best defensemen, our two top two gets both injured. What is. The, what is this? Is this a joke, boys? Am I like, am I dreaming right now? What, what is going on? Really now, both of them. This is a joke. All right, we gotta go get, go to the Rust moves and uh, go get a defenseman from the AHL boys. What the fuck is going on? We got, we're losing everybody. Sorry Jarvi, you're, you're in. You're in, you're playing. Okay boys. I don't know what the hell's going on. We just lost our bo both of our defensemen were like in the rush for the playoffs. In the race for the playoffs. We we only have a couple of games left. And both of our de best defensemen decide that uh, it's a good it's a good moment for them to just basically go and die on the ice for some reason. Back okay. Oh, we got some lineups to do. Okay. I'll just do that, I guess. Go over here. Uh who was it? Was Finn? It wasn't it. So Finn, go ahead and do whatever you want. I don't care. Let's go. Let's see if uh, how it's gonna go with our two replacements in the lineup for the top two boys position. 
Michael Rasmussen is back. Thank God. We've got everybody who was injured. Three players injured in our team, boys. Rasmussen is finally back. Uh, Nielsen played a, did a pretty decent job, I think. But uh, you look at this. This might have hurt us a lot, boys. Um, four and six. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This might have... Oh, my God. This screwed us. This might have screwed us big time, boys. We're 89 points. We're right there. We got 42 wins. <sighs> we decide to have a bad sequence at the very end. The last... If one of the last sequences... Are you si are you shitting me right now? We got two games remaining. How many ga two games remaining? We get we we need to win both of them. We need to win both of them. Uh, if we need win two both of them, it's like 81, 83, 93 points that we gain. We need to win both of them to get a chance at the wild card because both of the wild card teams have ninety two points in the Metropolitan Division. What did I tell you, boys? Metropolitan Division, they come back every time. They're too OP. You don't want to get into the wildcard race because you're never going to beat the Metropolitan Division. It's never going to happen. It's crazy out here. and the guy, That's because of Chara and Petriangelo got them eating some bad food or something. I don't know what the hell happened with them. They both decided to die on the highest at the wrong time. I hate them so much, boys. I can't tell you how much I hate them right now. Now we have to only hope that we win the two last games, boys, to give us a chance at winning this damn thing. Um, what I might do is I'm just going to end up like doing this right here and we lose. All right. We are not making the playoffs. It's official, boys. We just lost the race officially. That is just garbage. That's just a garbage thing. EA just screwed us big time. I'm telling you, boys. Look at this. What is this? We're in the race. 8 to 3 loss. 5 to 2 loss. 3 to... What is this? What is... Where is our scoring ability? Where did it go? When did it stop producing? Oh my god. I don't even know anymore. I'm not even gonna ask, boys. Not gonna even ask. We've got one more game remaining. The game that I kind of want to watch. Yeah, they both made the playoffs. We got screwed over, boys. Big time. Fucking got screwed over. I can't believe this bullshit. Uh, you know what? I don't even feel like play, watching this game, boys. I'm, we're going to watch in, uh, in the last... No, you know what? I don't even want to watch it. Fuck this. F fuck this team, boys. F fuck off. You're back. You're back for what exactly? Oh my god, Shara. You're back when it doesn't count anymore. When it doesn't matter. Should have been there from the beginning. I don't know what you're even doing here. Go, get lost, man. For God's sake. I can't believe this bullshit. This is just bullshit, boys. There we go. We we lose, of course. We 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 finish up, finish up the season with five lose and uh, five losses in a row, boys. Basically, what our season, entire season, was all about. F losses, losses all the way. Can't believe this. This is bullshit. I'm seeing you in the la next video, boys.